Good morning, guys. Time for another PHEV road test. Um, the first thing I wanted to clarify was an error in the last video, which I showed a 10% battery loss on my system after 10 and a half months. That's not true because we've now found out that the total battery from the 40 amp hours at the top end should be usable. I was still doing calculations using 38 amp hours. So I have 34 amp hours left in my battery, according to my software. And if we do a calculation of 34 divided by 40 times 100, uh, means 15% loss. And it was exactly nice round numbers, so very easy, quick math. I'm at 15% loss. So the sooner I can get this thing into Kyle, the better. I just wanted to clarify that. That's where I'm at, at 20,000 kilometers, guys. Okay, I also just wanted to show you guys we're going to have a riding partner today. So I just wanted to show you this um, hanging baskety thing. I don't know. My wife bought this for the new puppy and I thought, oh, this is no good because I have kids in the back seat all the time. But when I don't have kids, it's actually fantastic. It's 100% uh, waterproof. It just hangs off of your, uh, your bars on the top and goes over the seat mount on each seat. So basically it creates a big waterproof basket for him to roll around and play in and uh, i don't have to worry about him chewing on anything my seats or peeing on the seats hey buddy this is gage by the way guys he's nine weeks old and very well trained chocolate lab um i'm quite surprised with his training actually he will sit lay down stay uh, comes most of the time and uh well, he's still peeing on the floor a little bit, but we're working on that, right, buddy? I'm, I'm not trying to shame you. This isn't a shaming video. You're a good boy. Maybe a little shame wouldn't hurt. Okay, I got a bunch of running around to do in town today, so that leads to the perfect circumstances to do a test. And what I want to do is see how far we're going to drive absolutely as slow as we can with traffic. How far can we get out of this? And I'm going to compare it I'm going to try to find a test from last fall. Similar temperatures, you know, we're probably around uh, minus four, something like that today. Clear roads, but with road tires. I'm going to find one of my previous tests and we're going to compare it. I know we're at 15% loss now and we'll have to try to figure out with maybe some of my dog trips, what percent we were at then. And does that correlate? Are we going, you know, for 8% further down the rabbit hole here? Are we getting 8% less travel? So let's see if we can do a test to try to figure that out and if we can make sense out of all of this. So the guessometer is showing 33 kilometers. Uh, we've got one degree Celsius showing there. I think it's a little cooler than that. We'll see as we get going. So these are the numbers reading uh, on the dog, which 32.5 amp hours in here. So that's, that's even less than our, you know, we're only, 95.6 current state of charge. Our maximum is 34. I don't know why this never goes up to 100. Can someone answer that? Can someone tell me? This was just unplugged, plugged in all night, um, you know, 12 hours, and it only needs three to charge the car. So why is it not at 100% state of charge? And of course, for those who are going to ask, no heat. So I'll show you guys, the roads are absolutely clear. We've had a bunch of melt in the last week or two. So this is just like fall driving. So we have snow, but the roads are clear. So one of the reasons for doing this test now is that um, quite a few people uh, propose that over time after getting the vehicle, your driving habits become better. Your technique becomes better and you go farther. So instead of doing this test, in two months from now or a month and a half from now uh, when we get the snow tires off and we go back to day one and compare day one to day 365 people would say well your technique is much improved so right now we're going to compare this to last fall we had the vehicle for six or seven months at that point our technique should have been pretty good i was a hybrid driver before so this should be a as close a test as we can get, winter tires versus winter tires, all of the other same parameters, clear roads, the same low temperatures. We're at minus one degree Celsius right now. So it should be a good test. So the other question I get asked all the time is, do you notice the loss in amp hours in your battery? Well, I feel like I'm starting to. The last um, month or so, I, it's hard to get 32 kilometers uh, on a trip. I feel like uh, 
and quite often I don't that's without heat so it feels like yeah I'm just I'm scraping to get the last of the 30s here so um, yeah I do feel it so to be clear I am unrealistically driving the PHEV today as slow as I can when I can when there's no cars behind me I'm doing 40 I am trying to get every ounce out of this thing just like the other tests we did in the fall you know you live in a small northern Ontario town when the radio station is hosting a pothole patrol um, giveaway contest they actually have uh, people driving around taking pictures of the biggest potholes they can find and then the next week uh, people have to call in and guess uh, they're putting up photos on their Facebook page guess where the pothole is <laughs> Instead of maybe going out and getting somebody to fix it, let's just uh, have a contest. Now that's a pothole. I'm going to take a picture of that. That's going to be my entry into the contest. The other reason for doing this test today is uh, to get a maximum again here at this point in time before we have these procedures done. Because I want to know what state are we at now? What is the absolute maximum I can get out of this battery? Yes, it's with winter tires, but it will still give us some information and uh, then we'll have a, a mark or two recently that we can use to compare to the new stats we're going to get once we have the battery procedures done Ugh, it's just one pothole after another if you guys can hear that but it's just bang 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 you okay back there? Am I driving good enough for you? Need any snacks, a drink, or anything? Okay. Okay, so we've come 30 kilometers, and the gasometer is still showing 10. And there's a shot of the dog to, to show you what percentage we've used and where we're at. We've regenerated 0 0.6 amp hours. We're in B0 most of the time, coasting as much as we can. So yes, I know this is only one test guys and there are a lot of variables that can uh, interfere with these tests So we'll take that with a grain of salt But for those of you that are interested the dog weighs 14.2 pounds and I had an extra large breakfast And we both pooped before the test Okay with one kilometer left. I'll just show you guys the eco energy screen a hundred percent So the engine has not started at all reason I'm showing you that now is because I want to show you the um, the dog screen when the EV kicks off here okay EV mode cancelled 42 kilometers exactly let's like take a look at the dog and uh, 28 29 percent is what's kept in reserve so all we have to do now is go home, pull up the other test results, and crunch some numbers. Look at that guys, they're actually playing PHEV commercials on my PHEV videos. So what I wanted to show you guys is this is the video here that we're going to use for stats. And it's called Mitsubishi Outlander PHEV 0C Slushy Distance Test. The reason I chose this was it was fall, with close to the same conditions and we babied the car to see the absolute maximum we could get out of it with winter tires on it. And that was published on November 25th, okay? So I've gone through, watched the video, and I checked my dog for stats, and hey, we've done some maths. So let's just take a quick look, guys. November 25th, we had 33.3 .3 amp hours, and this is not the total where the dog reads and says your maximum but your current state of charge this was my charge right after a complete plug-in just like today i had 32.5 amp hours in there even though my maximum as of today says 34 you're not getting 34 this is what you're getting and on that particular day that's what i was getting so we've compared that the maximum distance we traveled 44.3 kilometers Today we did 42 kilometers. Here's the energy used by the vehicle on both days, 16.4, 16.5. So actually, when there was a little bit of slush on the road, we used less energy than today. Go figure. I guess the wind was at our back. I don't know. 
So let's do some math. Let's figure out 33.3 amp hours out of 40. Uh, this is how you do that math is simply divide or sorry, divide this number by 40 times it by 100. You get your percent um, of amp hours. That means that on November 25th, we had 16.8% of our battery was missing at the start of our trip. So now, four months later, as of today, we do the same math, 32.5 divided by 40 times 100, 81.3, which means that at the start of today's trip, we're missing 18.7% of our battery, okay? So percent difference in amp hours from November until now, 1.9%. Basically, we've dropped 2% of our amp hours in that amount of time. What did our numbers show us? 44.3 kilometers minus 42 is a difference of 2.3 kilometers. So percent difference, 2.3 kilometers or 5% less distance traveled. So I honestly think I'm the first person on YouTube to actually do two trips, compare and figure out your percent difference traveled, taking into consideration, trying to keep uh, factors the same. So, hey, I don't know if that's important to you guys or not, but what I'm showing is that in four months with my battery dropping, I'm traveling 5% less than I was back in November. Say goodbye to everybody. Shake a paw. No, shake a paw. Shake a paw. Good boy. <laughs> Good boy.